In this video, I'm going to be setting up and reviewing the features of the Keurig K Express coffee maker. So let's get started. The Keurig K Express is a new 2021 model. It measures at 12.6 inches high, 5.1 inches wide, and 12.8 inches in depth. Open the lid and it makes it 17.2 inches tall. It has a removable drip tray so you can add a taller mug or a travel mug up to 7 inches tall. The Keurig K Express comes with a 42 ounce water reservoir. There's a little hook that needs to be slotted into the hole here at the back and that'll make the tank attach securely to the machine. So just watch out when you're putting the reservoir back in that it's not loose. You'll see a gap and you'll also see it wobble a little bit if it's not latched in properly. I'm just going to take the water reservoir off and give it a wash first. You will need to buy a water filter starter kit separately as it doesn't come with the coffee maker and I'll leave my Amazon affiliate links in the description for you. The water filter starter kit comes with two filter cartridges and a tall handle that's needed for this Keurig model. And I also bought the My K Cup reusable coffee filter so I'll show you guys how to use that too. But first let's open one of the filter cartridges and you need to soak this for five minutes. So while that's soaking I'm going to wash out the water filter handle and the My K Cup. Okay, so after soaking for five minutes, you then need to rinse the water filter cartridge in warm water for one more minute. Once that's all done, open the water filter handle by pressing towards the bottom here and just pinch it in both sides until the bottom part slides off. Add the cartridge, making sure that it's the right way up. The curved side should face upwards. Then attach the top part of the handle until it clicks into place. Then pop the handle into the center of the water tank until it clicks into place and you can feel that it's nice and secure. Okay, I'm going to fill this up to the maximum line and then attach it to the coffee machine. And if you are new to my channel, do consider subscribing so I can bring you more home and kitchen product reviews. Once you open the lid of the coffee maker, you'll see all the lights power on. First, let's do a cleaning brew. Without any coffee pods inserted, close the lid, place a jug or a mug that can hold eight ounces. Press the eight ounce button, and I'll let you hear the sound of the coffee machine from start to finish. So that wasn't loud at all. I find it to be quieter than the previous model before this which was the K Supreme model. Let's do a temperature test of the water and it's showing 75 degrees. Okay then you can throw this water away and now you're ready to make your first cup of coffee. Open the lid, insert your coffee pod and this time I'll select 12 ounce and you can see from the moment I press the button it'll take about 9 seconds before the coffee starts to drip. 
And the whole process from the moment I push the button to the end takes about 98 seconds, which is just over one and a half minutes to brew a 12 ounce mug of coffee. Let's take a look at the splash outcome. So there's quite a bit of splash on the machine, but nothing below on the counter, which is great considering I made a full mug. Okay, let's open the lid and take out the pod. I'm using a compostable pod and nothing plastic. So that's just gonna get thrown in the compost. And take a look at the pod holder. Thankfully, there's no coffee bits in there and the needle area looks good too. But it's still a good idea to run a clear water brew right after just to prevent any buildup of coffee bits in there. Okay, now I'll show you guys how to use the My K-Cup reusable coffee filter if you wanted to use your own coffee grounds. So I've washed all the parts first. You'll have the black outer case and the grey mesh basket goes into that. Then you have the lid and this red plug which needs to be attached to the lid. And that's because this K-Express model only has one needle and not five needles like the multi-stream K Supreme model does. Uh, in that case, you wouldn't need to use this red plug. For that model, you would need to just take out this uh, red plug because that has five needles and then those five needles will go into these holes. And then just twist the lid towards the lock sign. There's also this gray adapter and that's only to be used with the older Keurig 2.0 models, uh, which I believe Keurig is no longer making. But if you do have one of those models, then you would need to attach this gray adapter just by sliding it into the bottom here. Otherwise, you can remove it and just leave it aside. Okay, let's add some coffee to the mesh basket. Pop the mesh basket into the outer case, then close the lid, making sure the red plug is in. Press the lid all the way around so that it's nice and secure and into the lock position. Open the lid on the coffee machine and you'll need to remove the pod holder first. So with one hand pushing from under, you'll see it pop up from the top, then just pull it out. Then insert the My K-Cup reusable coffee filter and this time I'll select the strong feature and I'm going to select eight ounces again. So when I press the strong button, it uh, took 12 seconds to dispense the coffee. And in total to make an eight ounce mug of coffee, it took 79 seconds. So to this, I'll just add some milk. Remember to take out the K-cup filter and throw out the coffee before it dries out in there. Otherwise, it'll just make it hard to clean. It is quite hot, so I'm just going to let it cool down a little. And if you do plan to use coffee pods, just remember to add the coffee pod holder back in. The Keurig K-Express is a lightweight, compact design. It doesn't have the flashing K button on the top that you would see on the previous models. It does have less buttons to push. The mug sizes you can choose are 12 ounces, 10 ounces and 8 ounces, the minimum. It also has a strong feature. There is a power on and off button. There is also a 5 minute auto shut off feature. There is a minimum amount of water that needs to be in the water reservoir, otherwise the add water light will turn on. I also like this handle that's built on the water reservoir here. It's easier to grip and pick up the water tank and add it onto the machine. Um, so you can see I have the minimum in there and now the add water sign has gone off. Um, and let's just measure, it needs at least about 16 ounces of water in the water reservoir for the add water light to go off. 
so technically even though the water reservoir holds 42 ounces you can only use 26 ounces of water before the add water light turns on so 26 ounces of water means you can make two 12 ounce mugs of coffee two 10 ounce mugs of coffee and three eight ounce mugs of coffee before the add water light turns on so overall the Keurig K-Express is a nice lightweight and compact size it's definitely quieter than the previous model that I reviewed which was the Keurig K-Supreme Plus and the water is definitely hotter too if you do want to watch that video I'll leave links for you in the description and also in this video and please don't forget to give this video a like if you found it useful and I hope to catch you in my next video